Hello there everybody, welcome back to a new plugin showcase. We're going to be showcasing custom drops editor. This is working on versions 1.13 to 1.16 and yes you can use it on your 1.16 servers if you do have those. Uh, but basically this allows you to add custom drops to any type of block or mob in the game. Which is insane guys, it has a very nice GUI editor. So the main command for this plugin is slash C drops and this will bring up your main menu. So in here you can edit mobs you can edit blocks and just have general settings for this plugin so if you go ahead and do an edit mob so here are all the mobs within your specific version of minecraft which is pretty amazing so this does also work with the newest 1.16 versions as well so for example let's go ahead and do uh i don't know we'll, we'll do a stray because why not so we'll go ahead and edit the mob for a stray and then now we can go ahead and toggle the vanilla drops that it does drop uh so i think it's just like uh some bones and some arrows I believe it is um, and so then you can enable specific worlds in here uh, for just uh, either enabling the vanilla drops or not so uh, you can do it that if you want to toggle it right there and then you also have a custom job so this is where you can add all your custom loot as well so for example let's go to uh, let's go to the combat and then let's go ahead and do like some custom enchanted book books or something so put all your items that you want in your inventory uh, already so we'll go into the stray configuration configuration and then we can go ahead and start adding the drop so you can add this new item on the top right hand corner go ahead and just click add and so then you can go ahead and see your inventory that you have and then you can go ahead and pretty much add everything within your inventory which is awesome so super easy so very efficient you can just go ahead and just do that so now you can go ahead and actually edit the specific loot tables for each one of these things so for example frost walker 2 so in here you can go ahead and just click on it and then you can add the specific drop setting so this is going to be the percents that you can actually add so by default it, ju it is just uh, a point one or a point ten percent i guess so then in here you can increment it very minusculely with a point zero one or a point one you also have one percent as well as ten and then you go ahead and, and decrease them right here as well if you also want to enable the natural drops um you can totally enable that right here as well as breeding egg drops and spawner drops so if you had some sort of like faction or skyblock server with like spawn eggs uh, or spawner drops then you can also enable it for the custom settings in here as well which is pretty awesome so uh we'll go ahead and do that and then let's go ahead and boost this up a little bit more so this one's going to be like 20 percent and then you also have this drop effects which is basically like a firework when uh you kill a mob and then it will sort of explode uh and then it will drop the effects which is pretty cool so i'm going to head and change the color to purple because that is my color right there and then we'll go back to the main page and then you can pretty much do the same thing uh, with all of these so I'm just gonna do this real quick So if we take a look real quick uh, at my inner pull one, as you see, I didn't enable all of these. So this is a spawner drop, egg, uh, breeding, as well as natural. Uh, and so those are all going to be enabled for right now. So the rest of them, actually, I didn't enable. So go ahead and try to kill him again, see if we... And there we go. We just got some more inner pearls. So those are the five inner pearls. So let me go ahead and actually... So let me go ahead and spawn another one. So this would be more of like a natural spawning one. And uh, there we go. We just, get, just got some more inner pearls. And we got a book this time because we did not use the egg uh, to spawn him we just used command so now we have the blast protection 4 which is great so let me go ahead and spawn him again so let's see so there there we go we just got frost walker so i'm gonna go ahead and toss all this out go ahead and try this guy real quick uh oh, okay there we got oh we got a lot of good loot here we got five random pearls uh the curse of binding nice so that was actually more of a rare uh rare drop that we put into the editor and we just got some more books we got the blast protection and frost walker so that's perfect guys so that is how you do the custom drops for the mobs be sure to check out this video's sponsor, Sangata. Sangata is a new and unique marketplace where you can find free or paid custom plugins. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is continuously working towards making those ideas a reality. Visit the Sangata marketplace and Discord with the links below.
So I see the, the red mushroom tree behind us there, and so we're gonna go ahead and add a custom drop for this specific block. And so we can go to edit blocks, and then it's pretty much the same process of doing this. So add a new block, and let's go ahead and just click this one. And so now we can go ahead and edit the, edit the specific drops. So I'm gonna ahead and toggle this uh, vanilla drops there, so make sure that those don't drop, uh, but we only want all the custom ones to drop. So let's go ahead and add a new item. So I actually need to add an item. Let's go ahead and do like, uh, some gold blocks and some iron blocks and some TNT because why not so uh, we'll go back into the editor real quick and we'll do the edit blocks and then let's go ahead and add the item so we'll do the the gold so we'll do the gold and then we'll also add the iron as well as the TNT so then you can go ahead and pretty much do the same thing customizing and so you can also have natural drops as well as the place blocks. so if you manually place this then you can also disable it so if you want to make sure that players only find it naturally occurring that's a good system to have uh, so let me go ahead and actually increase this real quick and you're pretty much just doing the same process increasing uh, several different types of blocks and so then uh, there we go 21 so we got 21 percent there so let me go in gm0 and so there we go guys we just got our custom blocks just like that for breaking uh, the, the mushroom here so uh, there we go we just got some more that is fantastic so let's go ahead and keep breaking and there we go guys we just got some more more custom blocks just like that and so that is how you add your custom mob drops and custom loot drops to your Minecraft server. So the link for this plugin is down in the description. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.